Hi everyone. Couron was an emblematic ship of the French Navy built by order of Richelieu. The Couron was the first major warship to be designed and built by the French themselves in accordance with Richelieu's plans to renew the French Navy, after a series of warships had been built by the Dutch. The construction was supervised by Isaac Delaunay Rosilly, and overseen by the famous carpenter Charles Moriou, from Dieppe. She was being constructed at La Roche Bernard and was one of the most advanced units of her time. After launch in 1632 or 1633, she was moved to Brouage in September 1634 where she was completed around 1635 by Mattia Casto. She carried up to heavy guns, most on her two-deck broadside but also eight firing forwards from the bow and eight firing aft, an unusual feature until Dupuy de Lomé redesigned naval artillery. Couron took part in the Battle of Guiteria on the 22nd of August 1638, and another expedition to Spain in 1639 under Henri de Saudes. The Battle of Guitaria was fought on the 22nd of August 1638 during the Franco-Spanish War, 1635-59, at Guitaria, in northern Spain. A French naval force commanded by Henri de Saudes attacked and destroyed a Spanish squadron under Lope de Hosses. The French fleet was being used to support the siege of Fuentarabia, a vital Spanish port. To provide time for a relief force to reach the defenders, de Hosses was ordered to draw their ships away, despite the almost total destruction of his force, the siege was lifted in September 1638. Although ultimately Guitaria had little strategic impact, it was the first significant victory for the newly formed French navy, Cardinal Richelieu viewed it as vindication of the decision taken in 1624 to invest large sums in its expansion. Battle of Guitaria. Prior to the outbreak of the Franco-Spanish War in 1635, Spain was already engaged in the Eighty Years' War with the Dutch Republic, as well as supporting Emperor Ferdinand II in the Thirty Years' War. Although it was the predominant European superpower with much greater resources than France, fighting in multiple theatres relied on long and vulnerable lines of communication. The most important was the Spanish Road, an overland route funneling troops and supplies from Spanish possessions in Italy to their armies in Flanders. This was crucial since Dutch naval superiority made it difficult to send these by sea. However, by 1638 the French and their allies were threatening to sever the road at key points in Milan, the Grison and Brysac in Alsace. In June, Cardinal Richelieu increased the pressure by sending an army under Condé over the Pyrenees to besiege Few and Arabia, supported by elements of the newly created Flor to Duponent, or Atlantic Squadron, commanded by Henri de Saudes. At the same time, the Dutch prepared to attack the ports of Dunkirk and Ostend in the Spanish Netherlands, whose loss would close the sea lanes between Spain and the Army of Flanders. This would make it impossible to continue the war. Spanish Chief Minister, Gaspar de Guzman, Count Duke of Olivares, responded by doubling the size of the Dunkirk squadron, with a smaller force under Lope de Hosses based in A Coruña. Despite a Dutch blockade, the Spanish transported 6,000 reinforcements to Flanders and prevented an attack on either Dunkirk or Ostend. However, by early August few and Arabia had been nearly destroyed by constant bombardment and was close to surrender, although greatly outnumbered, de Hosses was ordered to attack the French blockade and provide time for a relief force to reach the town. The Battle Saudis was an aggressive commander, while both he and Richelieu were anxious to enhance the reputation of the French navy by offensive action. He had divided his forces into three elements, leaving the largest portion under Claude de Lornay Rosilli to continue the blockade of Fuentarabia. A second squadron led by Motigny was sent to monitor Hosses, while a third section commanded by Saudis himself cruised along the coast. In July, he captured four Spanish ships at Pasaya. Following his orders, Hosses left Coruña with 12 galleons and four smaller vessels and on 17 August entered the harbour of Guitaria where he was blockaded by Motigny. 
This was a strong defensive position, since the shallow waters prevented the larger French ships from entering and adopting their normal tactics of close combat followed by boarding. Hosses strengthened his defenses by constructing shore-based gun positions, although they were not strong enough to withstand a sustained attack. Once advised of the situation by Motigny, Saudis ordered the bulk of his fleet to make for Guitaria where they met up on the evening of 19 August. Instead of attacking the Spanish directly, he decided to use fire ships and cut off any escape route with his smaller vessels, this meant waiting for the wind to blow towards the shore, which delayed operations until 22. He formed his force into three divisions, himself aboard Le Triomphe in the front line, along with seven fire ships. Crowded together, the wind against them and the French warships blocking their exit, the Spanish were unable to escape. By the time Saudis withdrew at 6 p.m., all their ships except one had been destroyed. Hosses set fire to his ship before abandoning it, Spanish casualties were around 2,000, while the French lost 40 dead. The French naval force employed at the 1,628 siege of La Rochelle had consisted of Dutch-built warships, many commanded by foreign mercenaries, the 1,638 campaign was the first in which both ships and officers were overwhelmingly French. Victory at Guitaria gave Saudis temporary control of the Bay of Biscay and was treated by Richelieu as a vindication of his naval policy. The Couronne was disarmed in 1641 and broken up between 1643 to 1645. Thanks for watching.